All right, guys, in this training, we're going to discuss on whether or not uh, you should provide super bills to patients, the pros and cons of each, so you can decide whether or not you want to provide these to patients if you go the cash based route or going the cash based route. And then also give you guys an insight into exactly what is a super bill, what is everything that needs to be included with a super bill. Also, give you guys this template that you guys can uh, use as well. So, a super bill is something that you can provide patients as a cash based provider for the patient to go in and be able to submit these claims insurance for potential partial reimbursement depending on their insurance plan and what their insurance plan specifically entails. Things that need to be included with the super bill is your clinic name, your address, okay? Everything that's included here. The location of service. So like if you're an outpatient clinic, which most of you guys are uh, that are going through this training, the code for that is 11. You are also gonna need your tax ID number. This is, or your EIN, these are synonymous. Uh, this will be provided uh, to you once you file your LLC or you have your uh, tax ID from filing, you will be provided with that. That's what you put here. Uh, your phone number, the patient's name, and then you're gonna also need to do the ICD-10 codes that the service was provided. So you also wanna put in the procedure codes and the charges. So our total charges in this case would be 225. This needs to be added up. So you can also, obviously, if it's an evaluation, you need to include this. Uh, there's no rhyme or really reason that we found to that usually for follow-ups, what's easiest is to just divide the units equally. So for example, this is for like initial evaluation evaluation. I'll uh, say the initial evaluation took like a half hour and then treatment units were around 50 bucks per unit. We've got, actually that should be 125. 